Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Maham Kashani. The Prime Minister will use a key speech today at the Gama Festival to stress the urgency of the voice to Parliament to create real change. Anthony Albanese is in East Arnhem Land for the country's largest Indigenous festival. Yvette Rowe has travelled to the event from Darwin and says the voice will improve life for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. If we continue the way we are, we're going backwards, we need to go forward. The Aboriginal community needs to feel that they're at the table with government and all sectors of government, and I'm really excited about saying yes to The Voice. WA will scrap its Aboriginal cultural heritage laws after months of controversy. It's understood the Premier and Minister for Aboriginal Affairs will make an announcement early next week. China will lift its tariffs on Australian barley today, ending a long-running trade war between the two nations. Grains Australia Chairman Terry Enright says it's great news for the industry. Obviously, uh, over the last three years, alternative markets have been sourced uh, where possible, uh, but it's always um, very beneficial to have a high-paying and uh, and well-regarded market such as China. A crime scene has been set up in Melbourne's South Yarra after a fatal shooting last night. A man was shot at multiple times on Chapel Street. He later died in hospital. The family of Olympian Peter Boll is demanding an apology after he was cleared of a doping violation. Peter's brother, Shams, says it could have ended his career. Yeah, we're very happy that at least a little bit of justice has been done and he's fully exonerated. It's a bit of a catch-22 with that one. It's like he shouldn't have never been in that position to begin with. And giving up meat can lower our risk of cardiovascular disease, according to new research out of Sydney University. Researchers found vegetarian diets rich in non-starchy vegetables, whole grains, beans and fish can have a protective effect on our hearts. In sport, the Storm has gone down to the Panthers by 20 points in their NRL match last night. The Warriors beat the Titans 28-18. to In AFL, the Western Bulldogs have thrashed the Tigers by 55 points thanks to a dominant performance by captain Marcus Bontempelli. And Cricket Australia will name squads for the upcoming white ball series in South Africa and India as early as Monday. In entertainment news, Mark Morgolis, who starred in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, has died at the age of 83. His breakout film role was in the mob classic Scarface. And that's the latest from the Novo podcast news team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.